Welcome to Keith and Kevin's Repair and Restoration. Today we got the Dirty Dodge. We got the 1992. Uh, let's see what's this thing. Dodge Dakota 5.2 converted from an automatic to a stick. And why are we calling it the Dirty Dodge? Well, it's dirty. It's dirty. It's it's rattle cam black, but you know what? The thing runs. Now, today we've been given a challenge. Someone told us we couldn't get the AC running. Now, did have an R12 in it, and we did have it sucked out legally. Thank you very much, State of Washington. And we are now ready to do the conversion process. But what do you need for the Dirty Dodge? Well, make sure all your system is intact. So we've checked. We did have some R12 in here. They did take some out, so we're good there. Um, do get a vacuum pump, whether you run it or not. You're going to need a conversion kit. Now, we do have the uh, valves out because we have some sizing issues. We'll get to that in a second. You're going to need your 134A. Good set of gauges. Don't skimp here. You really need this. It has to hold a vacuum for 15 minutes after you hold and run your vacuum pump for two and a half hours. This is a quick and dirty way. All right, now specific to the Dodge. We were kind of tripped out because normally you have two of these nice little things to fill from. But we couldn't find a second one and it drove us nuts. I'm like, there's got to be one. It wasn't on the hose. It was on the compressor. Okay, so start this neat little process. Go ahead and insert your first low pressure tip now. Can't get this wrong because the low pressure is different than the high pressure. Now it is in a very tight area and I'm trying to do my best to get it for you. No need to over tighten here. About a quarter turn, there's some Loctite on there and this thing will never come off. You'll replace the compressor before you ever take that clamp off again. Should be good, it's pretty tight, so. Okay, there's low side. Do the high side. Next step, get your gauges on. This is the crucial part of the quick and dirty down Dodge way. So now we're gonna hook up our low pressure side to the compressor side on this particular Dodge. Now there's enough. Just gonna have to make sure you do some good routing. It's very close. I wonder why Dodge didn't uh, turn out at least 90 degrees, but. Okay, high side port in. Last thing, your hookup to your vacuum pump, sir. Which one is it going? Well, there's only one fitting on there you can really use. All right, so see on this particular one, we got this one at uh, Harbor Freight, and I actually got it on deal one with a little coupon. We got it fairly cheap, 60 bucks for $150. Well, not bad, the gauges cost me more. Okay, very important, open your gauges. Okay, go ahead and start your vacuum pump. Oh, that stinks. Oh, that smells. Okay, I'm checking to see if it's drawing down a vacuum. It is. It takes a minute, dude. You gotta think. You gotta suck the whole system down. Yep, we're sucking down. Okay, well, in about two and a half hours, we'll come back out and check this. Other than that, let's let it run. You will see some smoke rise out of here. It's really not already smoke coming out. It's actually steam. What it's doing is heating the lines up so you get your moisture out. All right, two and a half hours later, we'll be back.